Charging the city? Comp time for attending staff parties and memorial services. It turns out Denver's fire chief has been charging the city for years. Tonight, the city is taking immediate action due to this investigation that you will see only on CBS News Colorado. Your investigator, Brian Moss, is sharing his findings after months of work. The Denver Fire Department works about 2,500 fires every year. Now the department's chief has his own fire to deal with. I think it's uh, just an abuse of my position. Fire Chief Desmond Fulton is one of the city's highest paid employees, making about $230,000 per year to oversee 1,000 firefighters. But beyond that salary, we found Fulton also billing for comp time for attending memorial services for firefighters, attending retirement parties, appearing at community events, and stopping into firehouses for dinners with the troops. This comp time practice is ultimately costing Denver taxpayers and has stunned firefighters. It's a disgrace, really, that you're going to do this and it just cheapens the events. This veteran Denver firefighter expressing sentiments we heard from many firefighters we talked to. He asked his identity be concealed as he feared retribution. It's dishonest and it's disingenuous for sure. We obtained the chief's work records for the last three years, showing that if he came into work at 7 a.m. for a retirement party like this, he'd bill the city for comp time, usually two to three hours. Stopping by firehouses to have dinner with the troops over and over, Fulton would rack up anywhere from three to five hours of comp time for each visit. That's just terrible. Why is it terrible? The thought is he's coming there because he cares and he wants to be with you, not he wants to make a buck. I thought he was taking the time because he wanted to make a connection between the administrative staff and the online personnel. Welcome, everyone, to the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby. When he went to baseball's Home Run Derby in 2021, that was good for seven hours of comp time. The American League takes on the National League. When he went to the All-Star game the next day, he billed another six and a half hours of comp time. Two days after the Club Q shooting, when he attended this candlelight vigil, the chief gave himself three hours of comp time, two hours for a weeknight appearance at a menorah lighting at the state capitol. Going to this Denver Days event, good for eight hours of comp time. When he went to a Denver church on a weekend to recognize a former employee as part of Black History Month, two hours comp time. Handing out smoke alarms at a Denver church, three hours. Stopping in at this children's hospital toy drive, worth another three hours to the chief. And attending this memorial for fallen firefighters in Colorado Springs, five hours of comp time. People go on their days off to honor our fallen firefighters. We don't do it for our money. We do it because we respect the sacrifice that those firefighters have made. They gave their life to save the community and to, to charge for it. So you go to these firefighter memorials, but you don't get to bill for comp time? We wouldn't. <laughs> I would not. I wouldn't cheapen the the event by charging. Last thing I would do is make it a pay deal. Somebody gave their life. Chief Fulton declined an on-camera interview, but his immediate supervisor, manager of safety Armando Saldate, seemed to have issues with the comp time practice. I was unaware of this practice, which dates back to former administrations, wrote Saldate in a statement. I will be issuing a directive to current command staff to cease the use of Kelly Flex time until the necessary facts are known. Additionally, I am ordering an independent investigation. In the last three years, the fire chief submitted for 415 hours of comp time. That's more than 50 extra days of work even though we found Denver's municipal code specifically says division chiefs, deputy chief, and the chief of the fire department who work overtime after the end of a regular shift shall not be compensated. But we found the fire chief, deputy chief, and division chiefs all taking credit for significant amounts of comp time. But often, these high-ranking administrators would take as much as 10 hours of comp time in a day, but their records would be left blank, not showing what they did to earn that comp time. Comp time can be used for vacations, and then vacation days can be converted into cash. In the chief's case, in 2021, 2022, and 2023, he sold unused vacation days back to the city for $42,000, in addition to his almost quarter of a million dollar salary. The city paid out almost $160,000 in the last three years to the top department commanders for their unused vacation time.
This firefighter says accruing comp hours for attending events and activities expected of the department's top administrators has to stop. They made a contract to work for that much. Really go to work. Do your job. Now, in recent weeks, we offered Chief Fulton numerous opportunities to discuss this practice with us, either on camera or off camera or by phone. He refused. Fulton's been fire chief since 2020. Mayor Mike Johnston reappointed him, and Denver City Council confirmed his appointment just this month. We contacted the West Metro Fire Department to see what their policy was. They told us their chiefs are not allowed to accrue comp time at all. Hmm. And we'll continue, of course, to follow this story. All right, Brian, thank you. You bet.